pancreatic cyst was incidentally detected on abdominal CT scan in a 67-year-old male. He has no abdominal complaints and no history of pancreatitis. He utilizes one alcohol drink per day. EUS was performed for further evaluation. The main pancreas duct is seen in the head and neck of the pancreas adjacent to a thin-walled cystic lesion with calcifications. The main pancreas duct is not dilated, however two cystically dilated side branches are seen adjacent to the main pancreas duct. Hyperechoic foci and strands are seen within the pancreas parenchyma. The cystic lesion in the head is identified along with two 5 millimeter cystic areas in the neck and body of the pancreas. The pancreas duct is followed out to the tail. Calcifications and hyperechoic foci are seen throughout the parenchyma. Doppler study identifies flow within a splenic vessel and a cystically dilated area adjacent to the main pancreas duct. This likely represents a cystically dilated side branch. The cyst in the head is again identified. It has a bilobed appearance with calcifications within the wall. This measures 3 by 2 sonometers. Fine needle aspiration of the cyst is performed with a 22 gauge needle. 5 milliliters of th thin straw colored fluid is aspirated and the cyst is seen to collapse. Fluid analysis reveals acellular cytology, a markedly elevated amylase at 35,000 and a low CEA at 64. These findings are consistent with the pseudocyst arising in the setting of chronic pancreatitis.